guys, what's up? D-Life here, and I am here with a psychological horror game called The Park. It is set in an amusement park, and you are a woman trying to find her long-lost child, and it's supposed to be pretty awesome. And, uh, I can't wait to get playing. It's uh, it's Halloween time, it's spooks and stuff, so let's go ahead and jump in. Let me know if you guys would like to see any more. What do you like if you enjoy it? The park is a narrative experience, plus played in a dark room wearing headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. During the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio, control your sanity, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and should not be cost for any alarm or making you a psychopath. I'm a psychopath. Oh no. I just run out of the room. I'm crazy. That's pretty cool. I've never played a horror. I've played one Oculus game that was set in an amusement park. Never played an actual full-out, fleshed-out horror game. And I've always wondered why that wasn't the case. And I don't know if there is one. Maybe I just missed it. But this is such a, a cool little idea. And uh, I'm definitely excited. All right. Here we go. Goosebumps. I'm all ready. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Callum, sit in the car and shut up. I'm thinking. Just kidding, Callum. I love you, my son. Stay in the car. Go and ask information. Oh. Oh, I can play. Sweet. So we're at Atlantic Island Park. This must be the amusement park. Oh, to interact with objects in the world. Left click. Okay. Ooh. Is this something I'm supposed to interact with? Examine plaque. All right. I can't. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who use their towns to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all of those who follow after. Ah. So it was... Oh, so Callum was born in 1977, I'm guessing? This is a little bit older. So this is taking place in the past. It's a garbage. Oh, here we go, cutscene. Hey, Lorraine, Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop. I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Oh. So he's gonna disappear inside the park, maybe. Callum, why are you doing this to me? So they unlocked lock this gate. Callum. Wait for mommy, Callum. This way, yeah. Mommy. He's just running in there. He's just running in there, being a little jerk. Oh, read flyer. Atlantic Island Park. Ooh, Chad the Chipmunk recommends for the little ones. Try the Tunnel of Tales for a gentle family friendly. This is their, a little pamphlet. If you guys really want to read all of that. Could freeze it. All right. Well, I'm gonna take up this. Esc oh, he's up there. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives, and on the other, anything we might dare to dream. Hmm. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. It kind of looks. The park is now closed. Have a home. He looked kind of like he wasn't there. Whoa. What? Uh-oh. What? Oh, it's dark. Oh, man. I got goosebumps. Here it begins. Oh, this is so creepy. I changed my mind. I don't want to oh, do God. this. The park. 
What happened here? It looks like it's been abandoned. Oh, I can run. Great. Is that him? It's easy to get lost here. It is. I thought I saw somebody standing there, but maybe I'm maybe I'm seeing stuff. Callum. Wait, Callum. I don't hear him anymore. It's really dark. You little jerk. Callum. Callum, stay where you are. He just ran away. You know what? I don't want a kid. I don't want a kid anymore. I don't want a kid. Oh. Can I actually... Oh! I can get on this thing. This is pretty cool. It's scary, creepy. But this is pretty awesome. And I'll be out to you in a second there, Callum. We got a Ferris wheel, bumper cars, roller coaster, house of horrors, sideshow alley, octotron, tunnel of tails, and then the entrance. All right. Callum. Where are you? What are you doing, Callum? You crazy little numbskull, you. That thing is creepy. Is that the House of Horrors? I don't know what that was. Callum, come back here right now. Over here. It sounds like he's in distress. What the Ooh. The beat. Thought something was behind me. Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. The actual hell. Wait, Callum. Catch me, mommy. Sounds like he's over there. I don't think I can go in there yet. That's creepy, though. Callum. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Over here. Her voice makes me really like, oh, like make, it's like heartbreaking the way she's saying it. Oh, there's something on the ground here. There's a chipmunk coming up. Oh, no, it's just garbage. This park is a mess. Or this park is a mess. Examine shoe. Is that his I think shoe? This belongs to Callum. Caleb, stop taking your shoes off. Damon Platt. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. <laughs> Chad can be seen in a daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. Sideshow Alley, the Octotron, and Park. Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead-end job. Chad will die a useless slob. What the heck? Did he go in this bathroom up here? Callum, are you in here? No. Stop, Callum! This way. Where? He's looking for a stupid teddy bear. Is that him down there? I can't really see. I don't even think that's really him. Callum? Did he go in the tunnel here. of love? Oh, what was that laugh? Callum, tell mommy where you are. Callum, stay where you are. I don't see him. Come on, mommy. Where are you? Did you get in a thing? I think he got in a thing, that little jerk. He does not listen. Can I get in? Yeah, I can. Okay, here we go on the swan ride. Where the heck did he go? Callum, where did you go? Oh, I don't hear him anymore. Oh, this is so creepy. He can't really stop if he's in this ride. Oh, this is so creepy. Oh, it's so 
quiet. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Huh. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow oh. and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Hmm. The story of Hansel and Gretel. Something bumped our boat, and I did not like that. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Ah, smart. Now you're smart. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Hmm. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. What? 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 Where? Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Something's here in the water with me. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Wow. Cra what crappy parents. All right. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Ah. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Here we go. I'm gonna run into somebody. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in hmm. and stay with me. Of course. No harm will come to you. But Hansel you. and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, Ooh. children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. Okay, you the eat old me. woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside. The old mm. woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Ah, uh, don't get tricked. Oh! Once Jeez. inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed oh. Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Jesus. Your brother will make a good mouthful. The old witch told Gretel, Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Oh my goodness. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. 
The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Oh, I know what she's uh, going to do. I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward <laughs> into the oven. Gretel, Gretel wrecked her. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. They are... freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. Oh my god. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. <laughs> wow. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Okay! That was I was not expecting that kind of story. Holy crap. That plot twist of an ending. I don't think... Excuse me? You can turn your head. Yeah, that's right. You don't be looking at me. That was freaking creepy. That duck can go screw itself. I need to get out. I need to get out of here. Let me out! Let me out! I don't want to go on a ride with Mr. Swan. Mr. Swan wants to kill me. Swans are actually supposed to be kind of nasty. They'll, they'll mess you up. Can I get out? Thank you. Whew! Okay, so that was kind of creepy. Pretty sure that story isn't canon. <laughs> Pretty sure of it. Alright. Callum! Callum did not go in there. Yeah, a little devious. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their mm. own parents. Exactly. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Oh. All right. Well. I don't know exactly where we're going, but there's a van up here. Hello? Callum. Well, that was a whisper. I didn't Another like that. Another accident. This place. What? Is this important? Oh, it is. The teddy bear was driving? Despite the constant interruptions at, to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what we needed from the banned writings of Archie Henderson. He, it's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative, to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon I will know if this has been all for nothing. Oh, the teddy bear has got... He's stabbed in the eye with a knife. What the actual hell? Can I open that door? Yeah, that teddy bear has been stabbed in the eye. That is creepy. Stay where you are! Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. And I said S keep your ass where it is. Callum, stay where you are! What is your problem, you little jerk? Okay, I don't want to die to our oxide. Oh, there's something in the on the loudspeakers growling. Woo, 
Ooh, this game is this game is already making me creeped out. Ooh, the Ferris wheel. Look how awesome that is. Oh, there's a tentacle thing, isn't it called the Octotron? That's pretty cool looking. Oh, I don't like it. Where did you go, Callum? Don't me, Callum. He's so freaking creepy. He's whispering. I don't like that. All right, well, we're going to the Octatron. I don't even see him anymore. Oh, I would probably get sick on it. I'm not really good. used to make the blood run to my head. Make me dizzy. Salmon report. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. We were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in a chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at ice. And at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion, but as more and more the ice fell away, when you first look, it was more like a human face smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster, like you were prey and that thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit, and then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground, and, and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick, and blood was spraying, and people were screaming. And Frank I ha and I had the kids, and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank, Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. That is creepy. So the guy just started stabbing. Just, can I go on this ride? It'd be kind of a little dizzy. I can run now. I think you can go get on here. There's two ways to go. Can I go in? I can't get on while it's moving. Oh, so I have to turn it off. Uh, decrease speed. I have to do it again. Alright, that should be enough. Can I get in now? I want to ride. Okay? I want to ride the Octotron. Oh, this actually kind of feels like a ride a little bit. If you... Woo! Actually, this wouldn't be too bad. This is not too spinny. Alright, this is a little bit more spinny than I was anticipating. I... Whoa, oh. Okay. 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 Totally not cool. This is not how it's supposed to be. This is not how it's supposed to be. Nope. 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 What the actual heck? Octatron. What? What was that? No. Leave me alone. What is that? What was that thing? What the actual heck was that thing? Oh. There's somebody in the booth. <gasps> I think he has my kid. Did he have Callum? Hello? I guess I can make it go again. What the actual hell? Where are you? That's your that's your only you know qualm. There's two different ways to Treachery go. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing, and I thought, 
Is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Wow. Okay. That was a bit creepy. Not gonna lie. Can I get in here? There's like sparks going on. It's really dark. I can't even see an entrance. If there is one. This is creepy. I don't know what that thing was inside. Can I get in this way? I don't think I can get in this building. Looks like something's in there, though. Oh, you can go in. I th no, you can't. I lied. <laughs> oh, read page. I thought working in a park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of the season really here drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping. And most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve, see? Even I'm starting to call him Chad. And I went to school with that guy. It's the go it's that goddamn suit. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve the local lush as Chad the chipmunk. Child-friendly mascot at the Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. But the most he wears that's... But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first, it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. But then I saw him at Susie's Diner still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained discreetly to park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. Nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently... Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him puking up in the gutter. Or picking up and puking up in the gutter outside the Sequoia station. Because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice, though they give me the creeps, Steve came to my booth today. Lucky me. He just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit. But it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up, eye-fucking me, whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, Chad, or Steve, wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura Henman. <laughs> ah! Fudge! Oh, my funny bone! You... Okay, do I need to run? Ow! Ow! Oh, I hit my funny bone so hard. I've never jumped so hard. Ah. Oh, oh, I'm not kidding you. My pinky. Oh, am I in danger? Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness gracious. Ah, oh, my hand hurts so much from that. I just, bam, I never jumped that hard ever. Oh, what is this thing with this crazy amount of eyes? Like a mutated duck. Thing or swan, I don't know. Okay, my hand's starting to feel better. Oh my god, I was not expect. I didn't even know what that look. I jumped so hard. You. Can't tell what that's saying, but you guys might be able to hear it. Oh, that got me. I love how a game says psychological horror. It tries to keep you from thinking, ooh, bumper cars. That there's going to be jump scares. The bumper cars! Constant crashes in 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Oh, it's bumper cars, man. Don't get so down about. I'm going to go ride the bumper cars, man. Can't stop me. Okay, maybe that gust of wind doesn't want me to do this. Do I just climb in one? Or do I go in here? This is so, so creepy. Hello? Callum? Where'd you go? Catch me, Mommy. Well, he sounded like he was behind me. That was creepy. Can I ride the bumper cars? I want to be able to ride it. Can you 
I think it's that car I gotta go into all the way down there. Alright. I'm gonna go right into it. I gotta run. Run! Alright, here we go. Examine accident report. Francis Dufresne. Laborer working on the crane. Brief description of accident. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directly, or was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Francis was killed. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. Double checking the, of the straps transit should be mandatory and drug screening for all drivers. Have, you, have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. The local laborers are very su superstitious and this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return to work until we have someone from the local church walk the park and exercise the bad spirits. Ah! Jesus, it made me jump. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Okay, don't want to ride the bumper cars. Oh. What the actual hell? I'm going to check this out. Something's up here. It wanted me to go this way. What do you want me to see? I see the Ferris wheel. Stay where you are. Uh, what? I hear a baby. I'm gonna leave you guys with a cliffhanger. If you want to see any more, let me know down below. This game is awesome. I I I think I'm gonna do more. But uh, I've been recording now for about a half hour. I want to keep it at that part. But if you guys would like to see any more of the park, let me know down below. I really enjoy it so far. It's scared me. It's made me jump. We'll be returning with the baby up the staircase. As always, thanks for watching my videos, guys. You guys rock, and I will see you in another one. Bye!